This is a problem on projectile motion. A ball is thrown from ground level. Two seconds later, it is moving horizontally at 15 meter per second. Take g equal to 9.8 meter per second square. Find the horizontal range and velocity of impact and the angle of impact. For any projectile motion, you need information of initial speed v0 and anchor of projection alpha. Let's indicate v0 and alpha on the diagram. To solve this problem, we start with Newton's second law of motion, mass times acceleration equal to force, ma equal to f. Setting up the i and j direction, assume there is no air resistance, then the force is coming from the gravity, which is negative mgj, and acceleration a is the rate of change of velocity, is dv dt. Cancel the m, then we have dv dt equal to negative 9.8j, taking g equal to 9.8 meter per second squared. So, dv dt is negative 9.8j. Integrate this with respect to t, we get v equal to minus 9.8t times j plus a constant vector. To determine unknown constant vector, we need initial condition. When t equals 0, v is v0 cosine alpha i plus v0 sine alpha j. Putting t equal to 0 into both sides of this equation, we get left hand side is v0 cosine alpha i plus v0 sine alpha j, and the right hand side is 0 j plus a constant vector. So the constant vector is v0 cosine alpha i plus v0 sine alpha j. Putting the c back, we get v equal to negative 9.8 tj plus v0 cosine alpha i plus v0 sine alpha j. Combining the j component, we get v equal to v0 cosine alpha i plus v0 sine alpha minus 9.8 tj. Now, we use another condition. It stated that 2 seconds later, it is moving horizontally at 50 meters per second. That means that when t equal to 2, v equal to 15i. Putting t equal to 2 into both sides of this equation, we get left hand side 15i, right hand side v0 cosine alpha i plus v0 sine alpha minus 19.6j. On the left hand side, 15i is equal to 15i plus 0j. So compare the component, we must have 15 equal to v0 cosine alpha, 0 equal to v0 sine alpha minus 19.6. For the second equation, we have 19.6 equal to v0 sine alpha. Therefore, we have a simultaneous equation, 15 equal to v0 cosine alpha, 19.6 equal to v0 sine alpha. Second equation over first equation, we get 19.6 over 15 equal to tangent alpha, and we have alpha equal to 52.6 degree. The square of equation 1 plus the square of equation 2 gives left hand side 15 square plus 19.6 square. Right hand side v0 square cosine square alpha plus v0 square sine square alpha. And the right hand side can be simplified to v0 square. 
Therefore, V0 is equal to 24.7 meter per second. We can now draw 24.7 meter per second for V0 and alpha 52.6 degree. By symmetry, velocity of impact equal to 24.7 times cosine 52.6 degree I minus sine 52.6 degree J, which is equal to 15I minus 19.6J. The angle of impact is 52.6 degree. To find the horizontal range, the time of flight is 4 seconds. 2 seconds for the upwards motion, 2 seconds for the downwards motion. As there is no horizontal acceleration, the horizontal speed is always equal to 15 meters per second. Therefore, for the flight of 4 seconds, the horizontal distance is 60 meters.